Hi everyone, this is Linda Oliver again. Daniel Garces, our finance manager, will now show us how to submit an expense for an open house. Daniel? Great, thank you very much, Linda. So for this second segment, uh, we will be reviewing, as Linda mentioned, the process of creating an expense report. And before we begin, most of you, if, if you don't recall or you haven't seen the first segment, make sure that you do watch that segment as it's a really important piece in walking you through the enablement process for Concur, as well as the steps to initially log in to Concur and set up your personal profile. Uh, specifically, the email verification, which is a really important step. And the reason those steps are extremely important is because when you're submitting your expense reports, you'll want to attach your receipts. In order to do so, you'll be able to uh, use your phone, take a picture using your phone as you have expenses, and simply email them, again, using the email that you set up under your email verification in segment one. You'll want to send those pictures of the receipts to receipts at concur.com. Once again, that's receipts, plural, at concur.com. Uh, this process will make it a whole lot easier. So when you do go to concur, those receipts will already be in there uh, waiting for you. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes for the receipts to hit your account. Let me go ahead and stop right there and just check in with Linda, see if anything, there's anything there that uh, Linda would like to add before we actually start the sign-in process. Linda. Daniel, you're doing a great job. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to Concur. Now, to access your Concur account, you should already have your, your login. Just as a reminder, uh, you'll want to go to www.concursolutions.com. You can also go to www.concur.com and click on the login button to access this sign-in page, okay? The username, again, just as a reminder for folks, it's gonna be your eight character member ID, followed by at toastmasters.org. Uh, and again, if this is your first time logging in, that login would be welcome. Otherwise, you would wanna use your defined password. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. And you should note it'll welcome you, say Toastmasters International, and here you'll be able to actually see any existing reports that you've submitted. In this case, since you're watching this video, you probably haven't had a chance to submit your first report. Uh, and so to do so, what you'll notice is in the center of the screen, there's the new plus, and this is where you're gonna actually start to create an expense report. Okay, you'll notice there's also an upper navigation, um, travel, expenses, approvals, reporting, and app center. Um, so again, that, that'll also help you get oriented. For purposes of, of this specific video, we're going to focus on creating a new report for a, an open house. So I'm going to go ahead and select new. And you'll notice there's actually a start a report menu option that's available. Give that a minute. Here you're going to go ahead and start by giving your report a name. We'll call this open house. There's a report date. You'll notice some fields in some instances are required. Uh, those that are required will be reflected with a red indicator on the field. You can also incorporate and or add comments. So again, depending on the type of report, you can put in comments. Report date is gonna to default to today's date. And then once you've defined that report information, you wanna come down here and click next.
here's where you're going to actually add the expenses associated with that report. You'll notice across the top, you can select new expenses or quick expense. I'm going to go ahead and just use this first button, new expense, which will give you uh, on the right hand navigation a tab called new expense. Here you can go ahead and type in the type of expense. So if, for example, for this specific expense report, um, we were talking about a, an open house. We're gonna go ahead and do that maybe under advertising. And that's gonna be the expense type. Once again, you'll notice a set of fields that you wanna fill, fill out and the ones that are in red are required. So I'm gonna start with transaction date. You can use the calendar widget to go in. I'll go ahead, September 19th as an example. Business purpose is open house. Vendor name. In this case, I'm gonna upload a, a receipt from Sam's Club. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Sam's Club under the vendor name. City of purchase, gonna be awesome type. So here's where you're gonna select, in most cases, it's gonna be cash out of pocket. You'll enter the amount. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the amount, $18.30. For the report code, uh, you can click, again, this drop down, and you'll see a list of available report codes associated with that expense type. We're gonna go ahead and identify this as a marketing membership growth selection. So again, this is gonna be the reporting code. It's gonna be marketing membership growth in this instance. For the event period, once again, if you click on this drop down, it'll give you, depending on your, your reporting code, event period selections. In this case, the only option is in A not applicable. The district is already highlighted for subsidiary. Again, clicking on that drop down, this would be an open house at the area level. So I'm gonna go ahead and click area. And last but not least, you can certainly go ahead and add comments to this specific expense item. The last thing you'll wanna do is just review all the fields you've entered and then at the bottom, you'll notice there's an option to save. You can itemize. For instance, you may want to itemize a receipt. You'll notice there's attach receipt, or you can cancel this specific expense if you wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and just click save for now and show you what that's going to look like once that's been added. So you'll notice on the left hand side, for this report called Open House, I've got one expense that I've entered. It's tagged as an advertising expense. You'll see here it's the vendor associated with this expense is Sam's Club. And you'll notice an icon here. Now, it's got a little exclamation mark inside the note icon. This is a, a receipt icon. And it says receipt image required. So anytime you see red or yellow, it implies that there's additional information that's required for the expense. I'm gonna go ahead and select this expense. You'll notice it reloads all the expense information for me over here on the right-hand side, okay? And what I'm gonna do next is go in and for the request, I'm gonna go ahead and select attach receipt. Now, as I mentioned earlier, any receipt that you take an image of and you email, to receipts at concur.com will automatically be uploaded and listed as available receipts. Alternatively, what you can also do is if you're working on your personal computer and you've got a scanner, uh, you can also scan your receipts and browse. So to browse through your computer, you would click browse, navigate to the folder where you've got that specific receipt image. In this case, here's an example of a receipt image that I 
had scanned earlier or taken a picture of earlier. And then simply click attach once you've got that image selected. Now what you'll note, as soon as I clicked attach, I now have a new tab for this specific expense called receipt image. So again, you'll wanna go and confirm that for that receipt image that it uploaded. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. We can use the, the negative and the positive sign here to either zoom in or zoom out. Uh, you can also rotate an image. So if an image is taken and it's maybe sideways, you can simply click the rotate button and it'll rotate that image clockwise until it's facing the, the proper direction. Now, you'll wanna always make sure you review your expense. In this case, I uploaded the SAMS receipt. You can see the value is 1832. Notice that I didn't enter the right amount. So what you wanna do is go back to the expense tab. I'm gonna go ahead and use my spot, spotlight to show you where that is. Go back to the expense type with tab if you wanna make any changes and make any corrections. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the amount, 1832. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom once again and click on the Save button. All right. You'll notice again, there's the one expense that I've submitted for this report. Uh, you'll notice the icon with now it doesn't have the yellow icon, but it's got a little blue icon with a checkbox. That's my receipt. And if you hover over that little icon, it'll actually show you the receipt associated with that expense. So that's a nice, easy way to get a really quick glimpse of what that receipt looks like. And then at the bottom, of course, it's gonna total all of your receipts. To add additional receipts, you would follow the exact same process. Just start at the beginning once again. You can click on new expense, Come over here, scroll through the list, find the appropriate expense type, and follow the process once again. Once you've completed adding all of your expenses, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this last one. You're ready to submit your report. That can be done by going to the upper right-hand corner You'll notice there's a submit report button that's available to you. And or if you decide you don't want to submit or you want to delete a report, you can certainly do the same thing again from the upper right hand corner. The last thing I'll mention is I highly encourage folks to go to the Toastmasters International website. Uh, if you just simply do a search for concur, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just so folks can see the, the results. You'll notice that there's a training page. And from that training page, there's a concur expense report training. This is another great resource. I, I highly encourage if anybody has questions to, to run through this training and might help answer a lot of the questions that you may have and goes into a great deal of detail as well. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop, pause there, and see if, Linda, if you have any additional comments and or items you'd like me to cover before we adjourn. No, I think you did a fantastic job, Daniel, and I'm looking forward, as, as you are, on receiving some of these expenses to be reimbursed because Daniel and I have to approve of them. So we'll see how well you do. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Linda.